All right, guys, this is a video to show you how to create your Google form to allow people to vote on your two animated GIFs. So what you'll do is you'll go to Google Forms and create your form. I'll just show you how to customize this, make sure that it's all right. So we'll go, uh, what is your favorite GIF? Put a question mark. All right, so first thing we're going to do is add the image. Go get it. Uh, so if it's on your Google Drive, just go grab it from there. Click the first one, select. Should come in there. Do that again. A little slow. Okay, what I would do is bring this to the top. Maybe it's a little bit. Okay. Um, my hero in action. Add anything else if you want. And what we'll click is done. And um, we'll go get another animated GIF. So we'll go. And I think you can resize this, by the way. Let's just see if I can click on edit. Resize this at all. I think it doesn't let you resize it. It's unfortunate. Okay, let's click done. Let's go get another image. So we're going to go to uh, image, grab the other one. Again, they should both be short. Now, let's take a second to come in. All right, here it comes. So we'll give that uh, heroes on the web. So this is not your hero because this was a method two that we learned. Click done. So there we have both. Now we're going to go to the top is do you so what is your favorite? And we're going to go to multiple choice. Call it whatever you called it. My hero in action. And click here. Just scroll down to Heroes on the web. Heroes on the web. All right. Hit that required. Click done. Definitely drop this down to the bottom here. All right. And put it here. Should just drop in there. It's kind of being silly. Uh, I'll just add another item at the bottom and just. Uh, vote here or something. So we'll go section header. Vote here. Okay, click done. And let's see if I can drag it down now. It's kind of give me a maybe because it's animated. So drop it in there. And show link to submit another response. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, also take this off just so people don't have to worry about it and you should also change your theme so we recommend picking something a little bit more to your taste so we'll go that's good enough so we'll accept that and click send form and we want this link here we want to copy it click done and what we're going to do is um, Go to a QR code reader, like QR code generator. There it is. There's a few out there. Um, see, there's a few that I've used quite a, quite a bit. Add this here, Control V. So there we go. Let's go Control Z. See how it changes? Control V. So take your screen grab tool. So I, so I recommend web page screenshot. Just Google it. Add it to your Chrome Web Apps. Visible screenshot. Uh, that's actually not what we want. To, we want to go back to uh, um, right here. Now we'll click on it. Visible screenshot. Take this tool. Cut. Control X. Save. And we're going to print this off so that people can, uh, so 
go to Google Form, click a new document, click Google Docs. You're going to drag your, your PNG in here that it's been created. We need this so people can actually walk around their cell phones and uh, I will ask you to type your name at the top, so press enter. Oops, control Z. And Mr. Who goes QR code for heroes? Okay, so some kind of a name that's you identify it with yourself. And let's drag that back in there. It got deleted by accident. We'll increase this. Alright, and then we're ready to print it. Make sure we name it. QR code you go. Now it'll be ready for my main prime time. People will go around with their cell phone, QR code scanner, scan this, and when they will scan it, the form will show up and they'll be able to uh, vote. And then we're going to tally your votes after. This is Mark DeBow at techvoice.com. If you have any questions, please let me know.